Buckle up your seats, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to 2024. AJ Ferrari has now returned to wrestling, has hit the splits, flipped off the crowd. What a start to the year. I gotta dial in G Fuel Raging Gummy Fish. Let's do this. Now, clips and photos in this video, I want to give credit to where credit's due. So a lot of the content is either from IA Wrestle. And in this video, I'm going to give my thoughts on the situation, exactly what I believe, how this affects wrestling, and how this affects you as a wrestler as well. So just the background on the story, this is AJ's first return to college wrestling since his national championship run as a true freshman. Now, he ended up leaving Oklahoma State. It was pretty much a mutual agreement that it wasn't going to work out anymore because of some things I don't want to get into, but things that you probably shouldn't do as a person. So while he was finding trouble in the law and through court systems, he found himself now going on a visit to Iowa where I assume, as we all know as wrestlers, as he would follow his brothers to Iowa wrestling. So no, he is currently not officially on the team. He wrestled at the Soldier Salute Unattached. Now he ended up making the finals and who was in the finals was Glazier, who is actually on the Iowa team. So looking back from a back perspective, this is basically for the starting spot of one of the top teams, one of the best teams in all of college wrestling. The match goes on. It's boring. AJ ends up winning in overtime, shoves him, and we can see them getting into, you know, this little bit of scuffle up until AJ ends up flipping him off. And immediately this, you, you just can't do it. You just can't be flipping people off because because of this, yes, the match was over. But long story short, the refs award Glazier the win because of the whole flip off. You know, we can see the coaches in Ferrari's corner too, Marinelli, Dennis. And during this whole time when Glazier's hand raised up, the crowd just erupts. And this is in Iowa too. And, you know, he can see that, you know, he's got some enemies even on, you know, his future team's fan section, basically. So he goes over to the fan section, hits the splits and hits the double bird. I, I, I just can't believe like I'm like talking about this because I don't even think it's real, but man, it happened. And it's kind of funny seeing like the screenshots of Marinelli and Dennis's faces and even Brands just looking at Ferrari while he's doing this. But now let's take a step back, I digress, and let me express my thoughts and my opinions of this. So first off, you might be saying, dude, he's such a hothead. I mean, uh, we clearly knew from years and years of experience that he is a very emotional wrestler. You know, he takes this very serious. He's so obsessed about it. Of course, you know, emotions are going to be running high, especially if this is, you know, in the finals and this is for that starting spot. And no, I am not saying that his behavior is what you guys should be doing and should be tolerated. It's almost so weird. There's two different sides in the wrestling world you could take. One, it's all sportsmanship, all, you know, humble and humility and this side, you, you know, you got the showboaters, you got the big celebrators, and you got the guys who aren't afraid to talk crap. Of course, we can see uh, what side Ferrari is on. However, if you look at me and all the content I post and, you know, the wrestler I am, I'm not going to be the one to hitting insane celebrations or just, you know, talking crap, mostly. Do I think he should have flipped him off? No. Do I think any wrestler should be flipped off at any given time? No, because at the end of the day, actions speak louder than words. It's not always what you say, but it's what you do. And remember, when you're out there wrestling and hitting these celebrations, you're not just representing yourself. You're representing your family. You're representing your school. Heck, Ferrari reps it all the time. You're repping, you know, your religion and your basically spirituality. And of course, Christians can be frustrated when a guy like Ferrari always, you know, praises God in everything he does, but then treats a human being um, like, like he did there, just flips him off. But also we as Christians know that it is not our place up front, you know, to judge. That That's not up to us. Our job is not to judge. But because of this experience, I hope we can all look at this from a new perspective. So A, if you are a parent watching my videos, and you don't want your kid growing up to be some guy who's just flipping off wrestlers, this is a circumstance that you can show them to be like, listen, like this is not cool. You don't want to have these traits. Or heck, if you're all for it, if you're all for just the viral ability and you know, if you think that this is actually growing wrestling, all to you. I don't necessarily want to tell you what to think or what to believe. Now, do I think that this is growing wrestling? This is tricky. I think it is giving wrestling exposure. Do I think it's making people want to go out for wrestling? very different. Wrestling needs exposure and wrestling is getting a ton of exposure. You know, all my channels are growing in views never seen before. Even Flow Wrestling's, all their views, all their clips, you know, WI Wrestle, all their clips, they're getting insane amount of views here lately and it's just going to go up and up and up. I do think that we can have moments in our sport to look forward like this, but at the end of the day, this isn't an actual wrestling related thing. Of, of course, you know, it was like after the match, it's still part of wrestling, but it wasn't the actual wrestling segment. And maybe that's something that we can learn as promoters and marketers 
marketers in the world as well. That sometimes in order to grow something, you don't necessarily you don't necessarily go right for the bread and butter. There's gonna be more ways to grow, more ways to get recognition that isn't necessarily linked to the wrestling segment. And you know, heck, I'm t- I'm talking about this situation. I'm gonna bring up all these viral, you know, wrestling things to light because A, it helps me for content. I like doing it, it's fun. And two, you guys clearly like to watch it. You clicked on this video, you gotta listen to what I say about this situation. I assume you looked at other content about this. But what I can't wait is to see what the future holds in this whole situation. Does Ferrari continue to go to the Iowa path? Are the brands fine with it? I would love to be a fly in, in the wall in the room in Iowa when all these guys are together because we we saw the beef there. You know, even even Anthony Ferrari, you know, you know he shoved uh, he shoved Rathjen after the match too and then you know Caleb gave him that AJ flex and the motions are so high at Iowa I feel like I mean those guys just they they bring a sense of careness that is just like so high compared to the average program but what I'm scared about Iowa for is the whole team aspect one thing I loved about always being on a wrestling team is how cool all the guys are. We don't have any beef with anyone on our team. I, it, it's a great, you know, environment to be. It's a, it's a place that you can go to basically, you know, to leave the world behind. If you, you know, if you got problems, there's a lot, a lot of people come to wrestling because it's like, if it wasn't for wrestling, you know, I'll be, you know, in the streets, I'll be doing all these bad pass. And that's why your wrestlers talk about all the time, like wrestling saved my life. You know, I want a wrestling room to go to a wrestling team I can go to where people I can count on people I care about. And just from, you know, these circumstances does Iowa have that camaraderie I don't know I guess it's all about perception too on what you actually want to accomplish you know in your years in college and you know it's a crazy time to be alive it's only the beginning of 2024 and we can only uh we can only assume what's next and I'll read this post but Perler wrestling caption so you know this was when the whole Ferrari fiasco was going on he goes there's always heat and fire when your teammate who's after your job and you go at it I've been there many times myself, and when a spot on a world-class program is on the line, tempers flare big time. I'm sure the Iowa staff will keep it under control. And that's true. I mean, these guys are pretty much going for that starting spot at that top program. So basically for you, you need to take a step back and think, who is the wrestler that you want to become, and how are your emotions going to be at these high-flying times? But if you can really be present in the moment and really think, what emotional state do you want to be in, or what will you do when you know tempers rise, I think you will be more prepared when these things come so that you don't, you know, end up making a mistake that you're going to regret maybe for the rest of your life. And you guys know how much I love working with Perler Wrestling too, and you can get his online academy, which is something that I've used for years and watching all his tutorials and breakdowns. He really goes in depth and it makes it really easy for new learners or even advanced guys to get better at wrestling. You can get $50 off your initiation fee using code Caden on the online wrestling course program. I highly encourage it. It's been helping out hundreds of wrestlers and I'll leave that link in the description below. But that's going to end off this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Shout out to my patrons, and we'll see you guys next video.